What is its number? R2 D2, Your Highness. R2? Hello there. R2 D2, it is you! It is you! Here in Wales with one of the legends of Star Wars, it's Kenny Baker. Hey, Kenny. Yeah, hello. You are the droid I've been searching for. Oh, good. Tell me then. Mate, six Star Wars films. What's your favourite memory? Oh, well, it's Kelly Fish and Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford, really. And Alec Guinness, of course. And the last three were a different that cut kettle of fish. They weren't the same as the first three. Just tell us, a lot of people are always curious about how you actually uh, manipulated the R2 unit. Tell us how you did that. Well, I normally uh, used in close-ups with the reaction to the dialogue, whatever it was getting from A to B. But I couldn't travel, you see. I could not move it. It weighed, it weighed about 80 pounds. And at the, way, at the time, I weighed about 70 pounds. I, I could move it, just about move it, you know, and make it come, come to life. But, it, but it, it worked, so they all told me, but it wasn't easy at all. <laughs> and uh, so any time we see R2, like, showing any emotion, that would be you. It's not the uh, remote-controlled one. Uh, well, you can't... What do you mean, showing emotion? How can you show emotion? <laughs> yeah, well, it is a robot, so... But just when it's reacting to certain pieces of dialogue... Well, you get the whistles, can't you? The noises that it makes. Yep. Which was push it, put, put on the... On the, uh, on the reel by the uh, special effects department or George himself. So they, they knew what they were doing, you know, to make it, uh, if he was sad or he was happy or uh, in different ways of him going bleep bleeps and bloop bloops and you know, whatever. Uh, were there ever any uh, mishaps? We've heard of um, R2 going off course sometimes, but you weren't actually moving it too much. What was the thing that you remember that ever went wrong with your particular robot? My particular robot never really went wrong at all. The head, the head would come off if you, tip, if you did fall over. But I didn't actually fall over in it, so I'm lucky in that respect. So when it got shot by the Jawa, it wasn't me, I wasn't in it, because it, could, it fell over. But they had to make sure that the head wouldn't come off. It came off quite easily. Right, and it would give you a bit of a headache if you fell over in that thing. It would do, yeah. <laughs> All right, Kenny, well, it's fantastic to meet you. Enjoy Wales, and Australia says g'day. Yeah, g'day. <laughs>